Japanese Horror Stories Master Series Teacher Part 1 This is a story I heard from my master. Her long hair is swaying by the window. The voice of a cicada, the voice of a frog, the light of the sun, the heat reflected from the ground. The wind, which contains a lot of such annoying things, tickles the teacher's cheeks and blows through. Her teacher's eyes are looking straight out the window. I'm kind of restless and hold a pencil. Even though it's so hot, the teacher's profile is cool. I wipe the sweat dripping on my throat with my fingers. The cicadas are singing slowly and slowly. Only me and the teacher are in the classroom in the afternoon with the scent of dry wood. Chalk letters are shining brightly on the small blackboard. There is a quadrangle in the triangle, and there is another triangle in it. Some sides have known lengths, others do not. The line drawn by the teacher stretches quickly, bends sharply, and stops quickly. It's a beautiful line that makes you want to trace it. Then the centimeter M-shaped but rises sharply, giving it a really cool shape. I'm told to find the area of the triangle and the quadrangle in the triangle, but I'm very worried about that. That's all, but it's really cool. I think it's a waste to attach a small 2 to M's but... I was able to. The voice suddenly returns to me. Easy victory. I move the pencil in a hurry. I think, he adds. The teacher looked at me for a moment, laughed a little, and then turned out of the window again. While sitting on a chair with a bare back. I'm looking down at a small desk, and I know that. Also, the voice of a cicada, the voice of a frog, the light of the sun, the heat reflected from the ground, etc., are blowing with the wind. The teacher's long hair shook smoothly. His white clothes were also shining. It seems that time has stopped in a classroom with only two people. As long as I was in it, I couldn't remember that summer would pass someday. It was the summer of the sixth grade of elementary school. As soon as I entered the summer vacation, I was left with my relative's house. The countryside on his mother's side was far away, where he could finally reach by connecting several trains. I was brought in once or twice when I was little, but it was the first time I was sent alone. Of course, it was the first time that I was told, you don't have to come back until the end of summer vacation. I knew it was a mess. I had enough experience in buying tickets and asking the way by myself, so I didn't have much trouble. Rather, I was relieved that until the end of summer vacation was stuck before you don't have to come back. As I walked along the ridge surrounded by rice fields, with my sneakers covered with dust. A large Juniperus chinensis tree protruded from the fence, and I saw a house with foliage. The reddish-brown roof tiles peculiar to this region reflect the sunlight, and I squint. The house had an uncle, an aunt, a grandpa, a grandma, and Shigei-chan and Yo-chan. Both my uncle and my aunt were very kind to me, my relative's child. They both joked, would you like to be my child? And laughed side by side with their black tanned faces in the farm work. Grandpa had gray hair on her head, but her legs were pinned and she was tall. She says gahaha and she messes up my head and it hurts and is embarrassing. I started running away from that hand. Grandma had a cute head like Chung and Natsudaidai on her little body. When she lifts something or squeezes a cloth, she says eh and gets excited, so. It was very interesting, and if I was secretly imitating it, I found it. I thought she would get angry, but grandma said she was eh hey, and she showed me the real thing. I fell in love with it in no time. Shigei-chan, whose name is Shigeru, is a boy of the same age as me. He remembered that he made me a minion when he came to this house, when I was younger a long time ago. I didn't remember it at all, but I didn't like it, so I became a child. Yo-chan, whose name is Yoshiko, is Shige-chan's younger sister, two younger sisters, and a cheerful girl with big eyes and a bob head. When I see the white color of my face and the hem of my clothes, I make a fool of saying that Tokaji is fluffy. To prove that wasn't the case, I ended up chasing after the mud until sunset. Tokaji. The first thing I felt when I came to the countryside was the itchy feel of these words. I never recognized him as a child of Tokaji, but from the perspective of the children in this small village. Just because there were three or more TV channels in addition to NHK, 
it seemed to meet Tokaji's requirements. Shigei-chan immediately brought the Tokajimon to a local Wargaki friend, so... Anyway, we ran around, swam, threw, and ran around together every day until we were sick. It's the last summer vacation of elementary school. It is the child's duty to play as much as the head blows away. I became friends with Takachan, Toshibo, and Taruchan. It is always fast. And again, I was very impressed with the black color, as if it was baked side by side in a frying pan. I see. I also feel that I want to distinguish myself from Tokajimon. It's a little different from the children around me. When I thought that I entered the mountain with an insect cage and a net early in the morning, I did not go down to the lower world until the Higurashi stopped crying. When I came back, the big handmade insect cage was full, but... Even though each parent had been squeezed about not going home early that night. The next day, I will run up to the mountain with an insect cage and a net early in the morning. Among them, Shigei-chan was an exceptionally naughty boy, and he had quite a boss's skin. He had a quick fight at Ibarinbo. I rushed to the pinch of my child first and said I'm sorry. He gave us precise instructions, such as Nijiro or anyway, and rescued us from the predicament. She was about the same height as me, but she had rag-like muscles squeezed into her whole body. When his foot kicked the ground with all his might, he jumped over a large puddle easily. I laughed with my nose, looking back at our feet that jumped afterwards and repelled the muddy water at the edge of the puddle. However, even in such Shigei-chan's boss. When a natural mischievous enthusiast lifted his neck, we closed to the eccentricity and annoyance. For example, when I inadvertently fed a strange mushroom I found in the mountains to Toshibo, who believed in it, saying, mushroom poison can be cooked. After I was hungry and fainted, I got into a fuss about carrying it to the doctor. When it comes to pit making, it was known for preparing the dreaded whole contents. At one point, we gathered at the bamboo yab in the back mountain and wondered what to do. Shigei-chan pointed to the cliff and shouted, Oh, people are about to fall. When I look at it, it's true that someone is about to fall from the edge of the bamboo shoot, clinging to a thin bamboo that looks like a bamboo shoot with hair. It looked like it was about to break. When I rushed to the place while saying something, it was a doll made of straw and cloth. We were angry when Shigei-chan ate a lot, and I was impressed because the doll was so well made. To make matters worse, an ant in the neighborhood, who had come to pick edible wild plants heard Shigei-chan's people are about to fall. Because it was a doll that rushed to the doll from afar more than we did. On the way, I stumbled on the root of a bamboo and rolled with Satankaroran, and I was about to fall off a cliff. We were scolded by the ant, scolded at each house, and squeezed a lot anyway. Shigei-chan was ordered by grandpa to make a scarecrow, because the doll was too good. I was forced to remake all the rice fields and scarecrows in the fields. During that time, Shigei-chan couldn't even go to play, and was making a scarecrow while drooling. Behind his eyes was a shining light thinking about the next mischief. It was both reliable and annoying to us. One day, I got used to living in the country, and sunburn started to stand out on my body, though not as much as Shigei-chan. I received an invitation to go to the Guardian Forest. The Guardian Forest is located in the back of the mountain, along the northern mountain peak. Surrounded by high mountains, the sun is darker than the east and west, even in the daytime. Even when it is rising directly above, the light is blocked by the overgrown camphor and cypress branches and leaves. Only a few pieces spill out to us walking at the bottom of the forest. So, chasing after Shigei-chan and Taro-chan. When I finally found the shrine in the middle of the Guardian Forest, I felt somehow solemn. I used to play in a place where the heat of the sun was rampant. The ground is covered with black soil, the air is moist, and it feels like it's getting cold from inside the body. It's different from the other mountains and forests I've climbed so far. I don't really have a chance, Shigei-chan said. At that time, I wasn't sure what Kenbatsu was, but... I understand that the reason why I don't do that is probably because this is a forest of guardians. Through the quiet approach. When I recall later, the cicadas were supposed to be noisy, but I certainly thought so at that time. You will reach the main shrine of a small shrine. 
Light and shadow run diagonally on the roof and planks, and I feel like it's been stuck there for hundreds of years. Occasionally it shook in the shape of a leaf, and at that time I finally regained my sense of time. Cheren. When I turned to it, Shige Chan was standing in front of the money box. It's a bit suspicious if someone is collecting the offer because it's tattered and moss is growing. Actually, I peeked at the fact that the offerings from around the Edo period were piled up. It was dark and I didn't really understand it, but it didn't feel like it was lumpy. Apparently, I wondered if few people would come here to worship. Then, take out the 10 yen coin from the pocket of the pants and throw it in. No one knew what god was dedicated to that shrine. There was a very nice clinking sound, so I put my hand on it. Eventually, Taro says, let's go home, and begins to want to leave the precincts. I'm squirming with my inner thighs. Apparently they have been peeing. Taro, who has a scary side even though he is a fluent person. He seemed afraid to pee and pollute the sanctuary of the shrine that sleeps deep in this guardian forest. I was scared to do it. Shige-chan and I chose to leave the place rather than harassing Taro-chan. We may have felt something inaccessible to the forest in our own way. The camphor tree passes through a dim approach that stretches its branches and leaves like a hand, and then goes out to a mountain path of black soil. When Taro, who is impatient, is wondering which one, Shige-chan correctly pointed to the original road, saying this. I suddenly saw another way out in the opposite direction. The road broke quickly and was swallowed by a group of trees and I couldn't see beyond. Where does this road lead? When I swell, my curiosity rises. What is this? When I heard that, Shige-chan said, there is nothing, and immediately began to return to the original path. I was tempted to go to the back. The meticulousness left in the guardian forest by myself gradually approached my chest, and I stood there. When I did that, I suddenly heard the sound of a big thing flying from the top of the tree above my head. When I look up, the branches and leaves of the tree that cover at that moment, and the fibers of light that spill from them. When I went round and round, I felt like I was turning around my point of view. I was so surprised that my head was dizzy, so I withdrew my desire to go deep into the forest and chased after Shige-chan at a glance. Then, for about three days, we were just swimming around in the river. It was hot anyway. The river is less floating than the sea, and there is a flow, so when you go up to the shore, you feel tired. There was a small bridge over the river, and jumping in from above was a test of our children's courage. I was good at swimming, and the riverbed was deep, so I hesitated for a while, and then I did it from my head. While blowing water, when you come out to the surface like everyone else. I saw Shige-chan standing on the railing of the bridge, like a professional wrestler. Shige-chan flew in the air, gathering everyone's eyes, saying look. Shears, light and body temperature that melts in water. There was our summer in the sun. In the meantime, the day came when I had to play alone. Shige-chan and other 6th graders all go to the forest school in two nights and three days. I wanted you to take me too, but it seems to be useless because it is a school event. I saw off Shige-chan, who left home early in the morning with a rucksack on her back, and thought about what to do for the three days from today. Since the house was a farmhouse, the uncle, aunt, and grandpa go to work on a light truck after eating breakfast. While listening to the sound of my grandma working at home, I opened my homework for the first time in a while. In a large tatami matted room, put a cheek stick in the middle of a large desk. I'm tired of going a few pages. Homework is supposed to be done in the last three days of summer vacation. Isn't there something else we have to do by then? The pencil rolls around. The sun is shining in the garden on the other side of the porch, and the inside of this room feels dark. I lay down, did my homework, and took a rest, and when I looked at my watch, it was 9 o'clock in the morning. It's still 9 o'clock. There are more than 3 hours until lunch. It's no good. It will be somehow. I thought of a place where I could go alone. I like a place that everyone doesn't always go to. Like a library. When I was thinking about it, I suddenly found a shrine in the guardian forest in the corner of my head and the road under the untouched trees. 
The road was still going on. When I was swollen again, I felt like going beyond that. In that forest, that feeling of wilting becomes stronger again. You can go alone. No matter what. That's it. Let's go now in the morning. It shouldn't be so scary when the sun is high. As soon as I thought of it, my body moved. Fold up your homework notes before getting ready. Did you feel that when you were carrying a rucksack? Shige Chan's younger sister, Yo Chan, was staring at me through the gaps in her sliding doors. I'm going somewhere. At that moment, I thought it would be nice to take this child too. But immediately shake it off. A woman cannot be taken on an adventure. She doesn't know what's waiting. When she said, I just go to the post office, she said hmm, and went somewhere boringly. Adopt. I also got rid of the disturbers. I leave the house triumphantly. As you head north on the sunlit ridge, the thick greenery of the mountains gradually approaches. The entrance is where a wooden box has decayed, which is a remnant of the time when the entrance fee was taken. The road runs along the foot of the mountain without climbing the peak. As you step on the soil and move forward, the shadows of the trees gradually dim your head. Take the compass you brought in just in case from the rucksack and move your legs without rest while holding it in your right hand. Occasionally, the voice of a turtle dove echoes and the sound of swoopering leaves is heard. Then the voice of the cicada. It's a big chorus that makes me scared. When I glanced up, the streaks of light were spilling through the gaps between the leaves. If you look up all the way in the flood of sounds, you won't know where this is. It feels dangerous. In a hurry, I turn to the front and start walking. There were some side streets to climb the mountain on the way, but I managed to reach the shrine of the Guardian Forest without hesitation. I will visit you for the time being. Follow the approach surrounded by trees, and go through a small Tori gate. Standing in front of an old building standing quietly, throwing a clink, and a 100 yen coin into the offering box. After all it is a good sound. There is no sign of people in the shrine. Is anyone coming in and taking care of it? Turn right and follow the original approach. I noticed that there was a small pond on the way, and went off to the side street. It's next to the Tori Gate. Water striders are swimming on the surface of the water, but the water is muddy, and cannot be seen well. I raised my face thinking that it would dry up while it wasn't raining, and returned to the approach. As I walked while listening to the crisp sound of the soil, I felt like I had forgotten something important and turned around. There was only a Tori gate there, but that reminds me that I didn't go through the Tori gate on my way home. When I went ahead, I thought it was okay. Gradually, a strange, round and round feeling came to the corner of my head, and it became bigger and bigger. I wonder what. I feel sick. The scenery looks strangely faded. I suppressed my desire to look around, and quickly passed through the approach where light and shadow came alternately. What should I do? Shall we go back? I thought so, but it touches the cow to escape again. When I was waiting for courage from somewhere, I heard a clinking sound of a 100 yen coin in a gift box. Well, it's 100 yen. The front is 10 yen. It's 100 yen today. With that feeling, I forcibly pulled out my courage and turned my foot in the opposite direction on my way home. Walk on the soil with Sanzen. The voice of the cicadas is still noisy, the area is dim, and the same winding road continues forever. There are no footprints at the end of the road. I look back from time to time, but there are only my footprints on the ground. Every time I make a curve, I feel like someone other than me is hidden behind a tree, but I'm sure it's crazy. The road gradually narrowed, and when I saw the fallen trees left alone and mushrooms growing. After all, I think that the future is just a dead end. Preserved food in a rucksack, well, it was cookies and apples. While praying that such things would not be useful. Looking at the compass, looking back, and remembering the clinking sound, I kept walking. Eventually, a dark wooden arch appeared like a ghost in a tunnel. I step on a little and then get sucked into it. What is the name of the tree? Thick leaves cover the top of my head, and almost no light leaks. 
Sometimes I felt that my white hands were shaking from the darkness, and my body became stiff. Looking at my feet, my feet are certainly stepping on the same soil as before. I walked through the tunnel at almost running speed, telling myself that it was okay as long as I was standing on it. It brightens in front of me. White clouds are floating in the sky. Below that is a dazzling green ridge. There is a field. You can see some houses on the mountain. Swallows are flying. The frog is ringing. I exhale, and then inhale. What is it that leads to another village? Shigechan. Tell a lie. With that in mind, I swing my legs lighter naturally and proceed through the ridges. But when you think about it, it's true that there was nothing in the forest on the way. UMM. Even if I say I'm a liar, I'm not sure if I'll be dented. When I suddenly came up with it, and looked back, the entrance to the forest that I had just passed through opened a dark mouth. 